everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So we are late. We as in me. But we need to discuss the best and worst products of February. Yes. This is the crew neck of the day. MTJ. This is actually a really short list. I mean, that's like good for the worst portion because there was barely anything. But then it's like so-so for the good portion because there wasn't that many things that knocked my socks off. Okay, let's jump right in. First, the dark chocolate mini heart cookies. I don't know why they call them mini cookies because they're pretty large and in charge. Now, the Christmas mint star cookies, those are small. These are not small, so I don't know what they are trying to do with that, but not my monkeys, not my circus. This product is one of my favorite seasonal items. I get it every single year, normally for my birthday or Valentine's Day. Maxie always gets me a box because I'm more of like a food gal. Like if you're gonna get me something, it better be something I can shove down my throat. So <laughs> anyways, so I've been eating them for years. They're so good. The dark chocolate is great. I normally don't like shortbread cookies, you know, like the tree foils, like the Girl Scout tree foils. It's a no for me, but these are phenom. The chocolate like balances it out. The little sprinkles add a little chazzle dazzle, you could say. Mm. Oh, and that's a seasonal item. So sorry, but you're not gonna find them anymore. <laughs> Write it down for next year. Next, the dark chocolate dipped bomba. Whoa, I said this in my review and I'm gonna say it. R-H-R-N, right here, right now. Those rocked my world, honestly. I only picked it up because I was like, uh, oh, it's new. I want to review some new things, but I didn't really have an interest in trying it. Honestly, I just picked it up to review it. That's all. And I'm obsessed with it and I am going to keep buying it. So if you don't know what Bomba is, it is like this underrated, but also cult classic of Trader Joe's. It's 99 cents, not the chocolate bomba, the normal bomba. Here's a picture of the normal bomba right here. It's 99 cents and essentially it's just like a peanut puff, like peanut butter puffed. That's it. That's it. A lot of people I've heard give them to their toddlers because it kind of just like melts in your mouth, like those little Gerber baby puffs, but not in like a baby way. So like, don't think like these aren't meant for you they're really good you can eat a ton of them and they're not terrible for you so those are 99 cents but then if you want to take it up a notch this is the product i'm talking about dipped in dark chocolate i don't know what accent was supposed to be but dipped in dark chocolate and it's dipped oh so lightly and it's just it's perfect let me say one more time for you it's i'm like visualizing it right now like in my brain because it's been so long <laughs> since i reviewed it i'm trying to like think about it just like a little dip and you know you get the saltiness from the peanuts but then you get like the sweetness but subtle sweetness because it's the dark chocolate this next one this one was a popular one i was pretty surprised uh the batard 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 sourdough bread i know random why am i reviewing this bread well it's too amazing for me not to review i've been eating this bread for years i use it for sandwiches um, I'll dip it in soups, or most importantly, I chop it up into pieces and eat it with my mom's infamous spinach dip. It's just a really good sourdough bread, and it's soft, which I really like. You know when you get breads and they're like crunchy on the outside, but soft on the inside, which a lot of people like. Mm, good for you. I like soft bread, like period, and this whole thing, soft. Next. I can hear bells. Oh, don't you hear them chime? If anyone is casting for Broadway, I'm here. Next, while we're zipping right through, we're like nearly done. The veggie samosas. So let me tell you this. I liked the veggie samosas more. Here's the veggie samosas. I liked those more than the chicken samosas. Now let me tell you why. I thought, and I tried them both at the same time. Like when I was trying the veggie, I also paired a couple chicken to go with it so I can compare the two. The veggies, I just thought it had a lot more texture going on with the different vegetables and it was really well seasoned and I thought they were really like full, like filled and just more flavorful. Where the chicken, I thought it was more like mushy, still flavorful, but not as flavorful as the chicken. 
as the veggie. I will say, you can't cook these in the microwave. I tried and they were like so limp. I actually put them in the oven after taking them out of the microwave because it was so nasty and so rude. But you know, that's what happens with a lot of products. They're not supposed to go in the microwave. I mean, they can, but like they're better in the oven. So put them in the oven, they crisp up with some sweet chili sauce. Mmm. Next, the Toto and red pepper soup. This is a staple for me. I usually bounce between the normal Toto soup and then the Toto and red pepper soup. I love using this for my lazy SpaghettiO type meal because everyone said it's kind of like SpaghettiOs, but I've never had SpaghettiOs. So should I try like the Trader Joe's version of that? the pasta with the tomato soup and some hot sauce but it's not like a big bowl of soup with some like noodles sprinkled in it's like using the tomato soup as a pasta sauce because i'm really picky about my red sauce you know because my grandma's is the best for homemade sauce so i don't settle for anything less but this soup is really good so i just use that as the sauce it's good i love it it's easy it's quick the sodium will not toast your buns but you only live once you know, I know that when I first started like YouTube, I was super like, I don't salt my food. I don't like add any salt. Like I need, this needs to be lower sodium, etc. But at what point is it like salt's not going anywhere and like adding salt makes food taste good. Now, I'm not going crazy. Well, it depends on what we're talking about. But I think there's been like a shift, you know, where I'm like, oh, I'm not adding salt. Oh my God, I added salt. I'm not going to add that. But now I'm like, okay, it has salt. What's going to happen? Like maybe I'll blow up for like a day and it'll be fine. But anyways, you know what? Just live your life. Eat the damn soup. This is the last product. Yes. Ooh, what's going to be like the product of the month? I think I'm going to say that the heart cookies are the product of the month. Now you can't eat them now, but if you want a product of the month that's not seasonal, then the Toto and pepper soup. This is the last best product of Feb. Now this is seasonal. A lot of stores don't even have this in yet. Like I tried it at the end of February. So it's making the cut for this best and worst, but truthfully, it's not in a lot of stores yet. The lemon Alfredo sauce. This is a favorite. It is so good. I don't know why, but a lot of people like to rag on me about the whole like, oh, you can make your own Alfredo sauce for cheaper and it's easier. Really? Is it easier than cracking open the lid and dumping it on my pasta. Now, if you want to make your own Alfredo sauce, like I love that journey for you, invite me over for dinner. Like I love that. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't have the time for that. And I don't drink milk. I don't keep cheese in my place. So for me to go out and get all of that, it would cost me more to make it time-wise and financially than buying a $3 sauce that'll last me a while and I can just dump on top of my pasta. So to each their own, if you know how to make your own and you want to make your own, you most definitely can. But I don't know why people need to go like crazy. Like, oh, it's so much easier to make your own. Why don't you just make your own? Look at all that shit added. Great. <laughs> Great. It's seasonal. A lot of stores don't even have it yet. I got really lucky. My store had it one time and I grabbed it. I haven't seen it since. So I don't know if that was a mistake or what. Now, the worst item of the month, and there's only one. So this is the one worst item of the month. The cucumber avocado smoothie. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Mmm. I posted my first impressions, like my first time trying it, and it was gnarly. Now, if you're into like a greens juice, but like that has no flavor, but it's thick like a green goddess dressing. Wonderful, maybe you'll like this. I just was not a fan. It was really tart from the cherries, the, what are they? Error, I don't know what they're called. From the cherries, what time is it? Okay, it was really tart, but then it was just really cucumber forward. So cucumber tartness, but thick and not like smoothie consistency. Like it was like dressing consistency like the green goddess dressing i was not a fan and i am still not a fan and it was not good it was not good i would rather eat a whole entire cucumber i would rather eat an avocado no 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 so i would not recommend um i think they have better smoothies out there but the smoothie has like no added sugar and only like 10 grams of sugar i don't know if the other smoothies have added sugar but they're very fruity so i know that they have a lot of 
sugar. So yeah, I hope you loved this video. I'm so sorry it's so late. I hope I can stop you from getting that smoothie or maybe encourage you if you are into tart cherry cucumber dressing. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you want me to try next? Let me know. Taking recommendations all the time. Be sure to check out the website, mrstraderjoes.com. That's where you'll find reviews, recommendations, recipes, things I don't recommend, like that smoothie. But if you want to see the reviews hit first thing every day, then check out my Instagram, Mrs. Trader Joe's. I'm on all the other socials. Come find me and I will see you next time.